Hello, welcome to Revenant Reads. I'm Vin, and this is a reminder video for Book Trek 2022. So, Book Trek 2022 is coming uh, in August and September of this year. We're only a few weeks away from its launch. Uh, and Book Trek is a celebration of Star Trek fiction. Um, it is being put into two months this year, so if you want to participate. Uh, in August, it is Wrath of Book Trek, where we are reading fiction from Star Trek iterations that we read last year. So that involves uh, or includes uh, the original series, um, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, or Enterprise. Uh, read one book from any one of those five, and you have that month covered. In September, it's Strange New Worlds, which is not directly connected to the new show, uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which just wrapped up its first season. An overall solid season, I thought, um, with a few, few, you know, disclaimers in there uh, <laughs> that, I, that I didn't care for. But otherwise, I, thought I really had fun with that season. But it's not directly related to that. Uh, what Strange New Worlds is for September is reading fiction from an iteration of Star Trek that we didn't cover last year. So anything that we're not basically looking at in August. Uh, and that includes other shows. It could be Discovery. It could be Picard. Um, I don't think there's a Strange New Worlds uh, fiction out yet. Uh, not until maybe the end of this year or next year. Um, but there are many other uh, lines um, of of Star Trek. Uh, the, it, you can kind of do a quick Google and find them. Um, and I also want to say too, you don't necessarily have to uh, read fiction um, as a traditional fiction. Uh, I want to show just a couple of books that I picked up recently, but I'll be kind of dipping in and out of for Book Trek. Uh, and one of the things you can do is read uh, graphic novels if you want. Um, so I picked this one up recently. Uh, come on show some of the artwork in here. Um, this is uh, Star Trek Next Generation Mirror Universe Collection. Um, so, you know, graphic novel collection of Star Trek TNG in the Mirror Universe. This is something that I also plan on reading next month in addition to traditional books. Um, a few other things that I picked up that are not necessarily book Trek uh, qualifications, but I just want to show a few other books that I got. Um, <laughs> I had gotten this and the next one, actually both of these right here. Uh, I got these both from Hamilton Books, uh, which is an online book retailer, which you can get things really cheap. And that's one of my favorite places to go for cheap books. And I found these super cheap. I think this one especially, here, I'll, I'll talk about this one first, I guess. Um, Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek, Original Cast Adventures. Um, this is an edited collection of um, academic essays about Star Trek. Um, I think it originally retails for $95. I got it for... I think five or less, uh, but it's Wagon Train to the Stars, Star Trek, The Western Frontier and American Values of Television in the 1960s, Star Trek Vietnam, The Transformation of the United States. So these are all academic essays uh, dealing with, with Star Trek, uh, at least the original series. Uh, boldly Unruly, Star Trek in play. So this is one I'll probably dive in and out of uh, next month. And I also picked this up, again, I think it was like a few bucks on Hamilton. Um, it's Star Trek, All Good Things, The Next Generation Companion. Uh, and this is just something to, you know, to dive, dive in and out of. Uh, I'll probably be watching, re-watching some episodes along the way, look up stuff as I go through. Um, so in addition to those two prompts, which is, again, for August, um, read a book, a Star Trek fiction, uh, from the iteration of Star Trek, uh, and iteration of Star Trek that we looked at last year. So once again, TOS, TNG, DS9, Voyager, or Enterprise. September, a Star Trek book from some other iteration that is not included in there. But there is a bonus prompt as well, a bonus mission, if you will. Uh, and that is, throughout the two months, okay, either you know, August or September or August into September, however you want, uh, read a book about science, a nonfiction science book. It can be pretty much anything you want. Um, it can be, you know, it's Star Trek. If you want to do astrophysics or astronomy, that's certainly fine. It could also be biology. It can be virology, immunology. 
Uh, you can look at stuff at plants. I got a big truck going by. Um, you know, uh, stuff on animal science. Uh, it, as long as it's about science, it, it totally qualifies. We're not going to be super picky about this. And it can be a popular word. You don't have to go looking at scholarly uh, texts or anything like that um, or anything academic. And that's it. That, that's uh, the the overall prompts for Book Trek. Um, these are things that uh, I explained a little more in detail in my original video, which I'll, of course, have linked below. Um, this was just a very quick reminder video that it is coming. If you want to participate, you still have plenty of time to pick some stuff out. If you're going to participate, I'd love to hear what you're going to read in the comments. Um, and also, before I go, uh, we do have an interloper in here. Uh, like an insidious Tal Shiar, we have Sean D. Stanfast, who is trying to break our federation, our alliance. Um, he is running, in August, a Babylon 5 readathon. Uh, with the express purpose of trying to break Book Trek. Um, I mean, if you, you, you could, I guess, if you wanted to, participate in both. Um, you know, you could take a, an hour or two to read the maybe five Babylon 5 novels that there were. And you can do the rest of the month on, on Book Trek. It's up to you. Um, you know, uh, if you want to check out what he's doing, I'll leave the link down there. But, you know, we all know which one's better. Uh, Babylon 5, I haven't watched it. I'm sure it's a great show, but we, we know, we know who the winner is in all of this. Uh, but if you want to humor him and go, uh, go say that you'll read something for him, I guess, just, I guess go for it. Uh, that, that's, that's your prerogative. Um, but anyway, uh, just wanted to throw that out there. All right. Um, watch out for jo Sean D. Standfast. He's a, he's a sneaky one. Uh, but I hope that you can join us for Book Trek. Um, you know, there's lots and lots, there's hundreds of books uh, that you can choose from uh, throughout this uh, this event. So if you're a Star Trek fan, if you've never read a Star Trek book, give it a shot. Uh, I'm not going to say they're great literature. Most of them are not. Um, there is also an event going on in August, Garb August, uh, where people are reading trash. I absolutely believe that there are some Star Trek novels that will qualify as trash. Some of them are really, really bad. Uh, but you will also find, and that's part of the, the joy of this, is finding the good ones. There are some that are also really good. Um, I did, uh, I made videos about the ones I read last year. If you were interested in that, you can look at that on my channel. Um, I believe that uh, one of the co-hosts, um, Steve Donahue, he is going to be rereading and focusing on a lot of his old favorites. Uh, so I think his channel will be a great one to look at for reference if you're looking for ideas of things to read. And my other co-hosts I'll have linked down below. So again, this is just a kind of a quick reminder video. Uh, I hope that you can join us and uh, I'll see you in August. Thank you, BookTube.